Hello, welcome to this little video. This is Ryan Swart and my gay girlfriend Shannon. We want to talk about some paranormal stuff. We've been having spirits do um, messing with us for a while. Um, it's been for me. It's been going on since 2012. Ever since I found God in the Bible, I started having spirits do things to me. I I started with auto writing. I began auto writing, but I was reaching out to God, wanting to write songs with God and everything, because I'm a musician. And I've got a spiritual link to Kurt Cobain, sort of, like we're similar artists and everything, so. But, uh, right now, we've got spirits coming in our house, they watch us, we see strange shadows. What else do we see, baby? Well, I've been experiencing it since I was nine, but not as much as I have the past, I don't know, maybe ten five six years but um we've ex i've experienced a lot of activity in the house i lived in in houston but um at least i knew why it was happening unfortunately i was a dumbass and <laughs> did a ouija board um but here we haven't done any of that here and we see shadows um there's constant running in the hallways. There's constant knocking yeah i hear tapping at my door the front door of the bedroom a lot when i'm by myself um we hear voices we hear singing um there's been teleportation we, yeah um, we both teleported she's tele i haven't teleported in ages but back in 2017 i went i was th this time i was talking to spirits and and basically talking to a lot of spirits and i'm a medium so it's, i'm sort of a medium i believe because i can they can channel through me and everything but in 2017 i went to the where uh what is called warehouse market which is a grocery store in my hometown and uh <clears throat> i heard one of the spirits inside me said don't go in there i said why and he said because you won't like what happens if you go in there so i just kind of ignored it. and i went in there and i walked around for a bit and pretty soon i was in the produce aisle and i turned to the left to look at some produce and all of a sudden from the bottom and top i got smashed i felt and everything went dark for a few seconds i got smashed Yep. And then I got unsmashed about 30 feet away over in the <clears throat> dairy section. And I came out of a, some kind of portal and I came out of the portal walking. So I went from standing still to 30 feet away coming out of a portal and I was walking. And then my phone was ringing as I came out of the portal. And then with her, she's teleported. And, I, and then I spent like, same day, I spent like an hour teleporting from the bed to the floor. as I, It was sort of a sleep paralysis type thing. I haven't experienced much teleportation since then, but tell me about your teleporting. She teleported not that long ago. Yeah, I teleported. I was laying on the couch sleeping, and I had to go to the bathroom. So, well, first of all, it took me a while to get up. Like, I, my eyes were open, but I couldn't get up. So, finally... That's sleep, yeah, that's sleep paralysis. Yeah, so finally I got up. Like, I guess it was me. I, I don't know at this point, but I started walking towards the hallway, and the hallway was totally different. Uh, the walls were all marble, and there was paintings of flowers, and, you know, just like it was not the house I was in. So I just kind of ignored it, went to the bathroom, came out. And when I came out, I was laying back on the couch in the same place I was when I couldn't get up. So that was weird. But I think our more issue that we're having, it's not so much what we're seeing nowadays. It, it used to be, oh man, it used to be all the time. Now it's more they're doing things to us. You know, like if I have a panic attack, I will lose my memory. I'll lose my sight. I'll she lose... has panic attacks almost daily because of these yeah, spirits. Because of the demon, and, yep. But what I mean by panic attack, she just lays there and moves and goes, uh, and can't talk or anything. Like spirits are doing something to her. I don't know what. And then she falls asleep. Have, so a, nightmare, pan, have pan, a nightmare. Have a nightmare, then wake up, and then be like, what happened? And sometimes she forgets who she, was, who she is and her memory and everything. Yeah, there was one time when I first... Uh, moved in here with Ryan um I had a really bad one I didn't even know who he was I didn't know who he was I didn't know who my son was I didn't know for almost like an hour um but it's more what they're doing to us like they you know like Ryan's a singer and they cut his voice off a lot they don't let him smoke they want him to dip and he doesn't even want to dip yeah um, I don't want to I started out chewing tobacco and I've tried to move a cigarette as well though actually I've got spirits in me right now and what I have come, to, one of this is a common revelation for people in the in the world that I've come to that my own in my own. 
See how it came out of me too. See, that's the spirit either coming up to manifest whenever you do a, sigh, a big sigh. That's the spirit coming out or it's coming up to manifest. And whenever they manifest, they do what they want, which is like move. You'll move a lot. You'll you'll shake your leg, you know, like that. Constantly moving up. Yeah, but heart so, will race. But more, our question is: Is anybody else going through this, this spiritual battle like this? Um, we're, we both believe in Jesus, although I sometimes don't believe in him. I kind of go. I'm on the fence sometimes because he has as he much has, as I've been through. Well, he has a lot of spiritual help that helps him, and I believe some of it's good, but there's a lot of it that lies to him. So. That's why he goes back and forth. It's not because his faith goes back and forth. It's he's constantly getting lied to. We both have um, angel-type spirits that live in us that help us. Mine is Abby. She's been with me since I was 11, and that's when I started losing because I lost like three. Abby's a little girl that lives yeah. in, that lives with her and stays inside of in her. In my mind. Yeah, she's in me. And I, you know, ever since I was 11, I lost three grandparents in a year and a half. I had a lot of trauma when I was little, so that's when she got here, but... I think what we need to talk about now, baby, is what we've done so far because we've done a lot to try to stop this. So, so we've, we've tried sage, we've tried salt. Salt on the doors. We've we have tried, a crucifix on each door. The, the thing that has worked the best is crucifixes in front of the doors we or next that. to the doors. Um, that has slowed it down a lot. We prayed. Um, we've told them to get out. I mean, we we burned all kinds <laughs> of incense. We've burned... I mean, we've, we've done a lot, and we just can't seem to pinpoint what else needs to be done. I mean, do we need to just live with them? I mean, because the, I think the scariest one for me, Ryan, is that creepy, tall, slender-looking man that's, like, black, but he's, like, clear. Like, you can see through him. Yeah. Um, he, he's been in the house. He hasn't been in the house in a long time. The last see, I've time. actually taken a, I've actually taken a shower. And she's been sometimes she talks to me when I'm in the shower, and she was looking in the mirror one time, and I was getting oh, God, I was that scared the crap out of I me. I was trying to get spirits out of myself. I was telling I was telling these things. Look, I want nothing from you. I don't want anything because sometimes you can get spirits because you you want certain things, so and they sort of quote unquote give you what you want in a way that you don't want it. But right. and she saw a weird creature get out of the shower, but she saw it in the mirror. Whenever she looked there. Where it actually in the shower, there was nothing there. there, and she only saw it in the mirror. Yeah, and it, it was a creature <clears throat> that got out of the shower that looked like a demon but, or something. But I think the creepiest one, besides that one, is that black figure that we've seen. I don't know if you've seen him, but um, I was coming back in the house because he was out in the backyard, like behind one of the trees, and all of a sudden he appeared in front of me behind my son. Like my son couldn't see him because he was behind him, but in front of me because I was walking behind John. And I literally turned it white as a ghost. Now, there's a lot of times people say, you know, don't feed into the fear, you know, because that's what they live on. I, it's not that I was scared. It was, I just certainly was not expecting it. I mean, I, it just blew me away. I, my, my whole body was shaking. Heart was racing because I was not expecting a big black looking figure, clearish, like appear right in front of me. The big, here's the biggest thing that I deal with. We both have spirit possession. Okay, I got to stay on my shirt. Okay, we both have <laughs> we both have spirit possession. Spirits have possessed us to a certain degree to where yep. they they don't we don't do what they want all the time, but they are trying to control us basically. Yep. And with me, they get in me or they stay in me or they're in me a lot of the times, and they'll they'll talk through me and they'll they'll do the six 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 and tell me that I need to be six six six, and that's gone on. For years, years yep. for years and years and years. So basically, what we're trying to make with the point of this video is just: Has anyone else experienced anything like this? And if so, what did you do? It's getting better since we put the crucifix at the door. I would have visions of yep. stuff coming through the door all the time. There'd be monsters coming through the door. I have a vision of a monster coming through the door. Then we'd feel a monster in the room. I'd be like, "Get out of here!" But ever since I put the crucifixes in front of the doors, it has helped keep stuff out. But there's stuff in us. The spirits in us and demons in us, and there's stuff in the house. So we're just trying to reach out to anybody that can help. But uh, if you know, wanna... anyone has any ideas of what more we can do, uh, and don't forget this, baby. Um, they they find ways to interrupt your life. They always try to make us fight. Um, the other thing they do is a lot of times this this is stopped now, but 
uh, me and Ryan would go out and literally every time we'd go out, we almost would get hit, almost killed by a car. I mean, literally almost head on, head on collision at least stuff. two or three times on our traveling. And it's just like, I don't know if the demons are with us creating that or they're in other people. I don't know. We don't so, know if it's quote unquote the devil doing it or, you know, you know, his real name. We're not going to mention his name because... I don't even like to mention his real name, but yeah, no one does. But yeah, so if anyone has any suggestions on, like, if you had any, we've done it all. We've done deliverance. Yeah, we've done. A I've lot. done. I've talked to uh, the uh, the what are they, the exorcist people. Yeah, they seem to not want to help. We we but things are actually aren't that bad. But she still has pain attacks almost every night. So. Well, the bottom line is both of us have had a lot of experiences before we met. Um, you know, I was hearing voices and no, I'm not, you know, I'm not sick. I don't take drugs. I don't do any of that. I was actually hearing voices ever since I was nine. Um, I would see people that weren't here anymore that had passed. Um, you know, I had a lot of experiences before I met Ryan and he's had experiences. So I don't know if it's because we're together, we experience, More. you know, the both of us because he sees them for different reasons than I do. Um, a lot of times they give me panic attacks to irritate Ryan because mm -hmm. I believe he has musician demons that want him to sing and write songs for, you know, the devil. Um, and when he doesn't, they pick on me and then so on and so forth. But yeah. So if anyone has any suggestions or if you've experienced any of these that we've talked about, Please comment or send some messages. And we, you know, we've asked out. God to take this stuff out of us and get it out of us. I don't believe either one of us has done all that much to get this stuff. It's just sort of something God has set up that is allowed to happen. I don't know why it's allowed to happen. I Now, I did I did interview God. I can talk to God, and I, what I believe is God, and interview him and ask him questions, and he kind of answers me. And there was something... Tell me that it wanted me to be a pastor one day. So I do read the Bible and I do study the Bible and I know it pretty well, but that's all we got. So, I mean, basically, we're not perfect. I mean, we know we know that, but um, and sometimes I believe we go through this because we are close to God. They're gonna, not going to pick on you if you're on the devil's side. Yep. So I mean, we just want to know if anyone has any ideas. Have you tried anything? Has it worked? Um, you've heard the stuff we've tried. We just about tried it all. So, and Ryan even blessed the house once. Um, I had the house blessed by my pastor at my church. Everything. Now, um, since then, we had somebody stay with us. We who, think he's who, been bringing who, who demons. Brought a lot of demons. So, um, yeah. maybe we need to do that again. I don't know. See, but. I'm under the one of the belief that you can pass demons through touching. Let me see if I'm passing any dirt. So we, I either got rid of one for you or you gave me one, but I don't feel any. Whenever you do that. a breathing deep, uh, <sighs> that's a spirit coming out or a spirit coming up to manifest and take control of your body. So oh, that, and, that's I've, and I've been tested for asthma and seizures when I was younger, when I was having all that. Yeah, the panic attacks seem like seizures. So I, I don't, I'm not, I don't have seizures. It's not my family. I was tested for that. Um, I think what hurts me the most and Ryan is. A lot of people dismiss demons that live in people, but I mean, Hollywood sure knows about it. They, they, you know, they must know about it because they record all this stuff. So uh, we just want to know that we're not alone out there. And if anyone's had any experiences and let us know what you've done that's helped and, you know, maybe something. We would like to even reach out to somebody that we could talk to yes. on a uh, messenger or whatever, and like video chat or whatever, that a spiritual type or religious type people. But, I mean, I've tried the religion route with this stuff, and it kind of works. I mean, Jesus, the crucifixes have protected the door, but that's all we got. We're just reaching out to people that can help us. So, anyway, thank you. Bye. Bye. God bless.